What's your thoughts? Hello, good morning, happy Tuesday. I'm hungry. So, I'm gonna make a couple of things quickly. I figured let's do it together. Really need to come up with a better, I feel like this is just a weird angle. I guess you can go on these boxes for now. Oh, I can push. All right, let's get some things prepped. I know I want to um, make a bunch of like pre-portion out my bagel, my bagel um, thing so it's easier for me to make in the morning and I want to make some hard boiled eggs. So lovely. Ooh, what just fell? I've been really enjoying hard boiled eggs. And our water pressure is like the slowest thing in the world here and I really truly forgot. We were blessed in, in uh, Illinois with great water pressure. I don't know what the heck is wrong with our water pressure here, but such is my life. So let's fill this baby up. I like hard boiled eggs for like quick mornings when I want something savory, but I don't want to make eggs, so these on hand I want to have them and I wanted to get my eggs from Costco but I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and got them so they do have some of these that are old I prefer to use hard boiled eggs older eggs for hard boiled eggs because they have like lost a little bit of their membrane adhesiveness and they just peel easier but I'm gonna do a couple of these because Scott will eat them too if they're peeled and ready to go. So there's that. And there's this. And then let's go ahead and I just put them in the water and then we boil them from the start. As soon as they start to boil, that's when I set the timer for like six to seven minutes. Okay, next, my little bagel obsession. So. Self-rising flour or bread flour, or whatever, baking powder, and salt. And I know I need a fourth of a teaspoon, and then I need a fourth of a teaspoon for all my stuff. So I just figured this would be easier than. Do you think everything would fit in there? I bet it would. That would be awesome. I just want to make a couple of these pre-packaged out so it's just easy for me. So I remember it being, I don't actually remember, but this just saves me time from 
going through the process every time. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So, so you do a tablespoon or a fourth of a cup of flour yes those will fit perfectly in here perfect and this gives me three bagel bites which honestly is the perfect amount so i'm gonna make like i don't know a couple that way it's not pre-made because i don't i like them fresh but i also um don't have to eat them right away because if my like mood changes or I don't want breakfast that day or don't want bagels for breakfast, whatever the case may be. I don't have to have it because they're just pantry stable ingredients. So, but I've been on a kick recently. I was thinking you could probably do one big batch and then split them, but I don't know if you would get everything you wanted to get all in one, but I don't know how that works. So I'm just going to do it like this. So when you're ready, you just add a fourth of a cup of yogurt. So that's that. The next, I wanna do a fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder. And then a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, or an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna do like half of this. Mine of mine are a little salty because I love salt. Do I put it in there? Yep. So there we go, we have our bagels pre-ready to go. Whenever I want to make them. A ghee. I actually just like to throw it on a scale. That way I don't have to, you can probably just eyeball it. That way I don't have to dirty the, the little thing. So I just, I think it's 56. I start by mixing it with a fork and then I slowly use my fingers. That to get some of the flour really incorporated. You can obviously do like a full bagel, but I like kind of the bites. I don't know why, I just think they taste really good. So I like that shape, <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, so last night I made like a a yogurt bowl, but I did Greek yogurt. I did um, some peanut butter, some mini M&Ms, and some Oreos. And I was like, Tom Scott was like, oh my God, it's like I'm eating a McFlurry. And he's like, it's like you're eating candy on top of sour cream. And I was like, you've never been more right about something. So it's literally nail on the head what it tastes like. But it was so good. <laughs> well, I guess I spray my little air fryer. I take and put a bunch of everything with the bagel in my hand and smash it into the top. You can't just sprinkle it, you really gotta smash it if you want it to stick. I've tried it. I've tried just sprinkling and it doesn't work. And ta-da. This is something I really do prefer to make fresh as well. And that's kind of annoying. It's just better that way. Throw this on for three, 350 ish for eight minutes or so all right so here we are my final i'm just letting these soak for a little bit longer i'm hungry and i don't feel like peeling them do we have an egg three bagel bites or bacon some jalapeno cottage cheese cream cheese and our latte all right it's dinner time and i'm gonna be making this recipe that i've had saved uh since may uh her name is christina thornton and yeah, have a May 24th. So if you want to watch it, it's on TikTok. For also how cute is a stinking phone case that I got. I'm obsessed. Anyway, it's like a corn jalapeno cilantro peach avocado salad with chicken thighs. Yum. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that. I'm gonna start at least making the salad. I'm boiling the corn, it's quarter to five. Well, I think I'm picking up Arlo because I think Scott 
It's not gonna be back in time, but nonetheless, put on some water to boil this corn. Just hoping this corn is good. I don't have many options. It's a stue. And they chopped off all the fuzzies, which I'm not mad at it, but it's interesting. Apparently you can stick this in the microwave for a couple minutes. I was never allowed to peel corn like this in the house and there's a reason why, because it is just a mess. But I'm an adult and I'll clean it up. Okay, so I'm gonna peel this. While I peel this, let's have a chat about my aura ring. I'm, what, I got it on Friday, like evening. So I've had it Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then today is Tuesday. Um, I'm liking it, so <laughs> I'm liking it, but no, I'm just kidding. Um, this, this morning it did not track my workout, which isn't the end of the world, but it's annoying because like it says you don't have to set it, but it just didn't record it. So I would have set it had I known that it wasn't going to record it. It like recorded the 10 minute walk I do before my workout and then that's it. Yet it tracked the fact that it thought I was working or working out when I was um, filming today, like an outfit try on, like it tracked that, but it did not track my high calorie or high thing when I was literally sweating today in my leg workout. So I was kind of like, that's annoying, but such is life. So. Besides that, I've had good luck with it and liked it thus far. I feel like it's still early to decide. Super accurate on my sleep, um, which I really enjoy. Um, but yeah, I'm still kind of on the fence about it, not gonna lie. Um, I mean, I like it, but I'm still on the fence as to whether it's like worth it. Um, but I think the more time it gets to know you, the more it like actually can become in tune with your body. Anyway, let's put this on. Wait, so we'll see. But if you have the aura ring and you've had similar issues, did you just like manually put in your workouts? Do you just not care? Sound off, because I don't know. Now I'm gonna carry this to my trash can and pray that it doesn't fall everywhere. So while the corn is boiling, I'm gonna get the rest of the salad kind of prepped out and ready to go. It's so yum. When they're ready, I just, it's just kind of like, they did not want to peel for me. Half of a uh, red onion. be a fourth of a cup it's gonna be more it's always gonna be more next me avocado perfect Let's see if she's spicy oh yep she's spicy okay so the corn's gonna go in here this is looking phenomenal though I'm, I'm gonna do the corn in there in a minute, but let's do the lime and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm well, that's some good corn. Let me zoom in. I'll show you what we're feeding our listeners. He's not gonna eat what we're eating. You know what? He'll eat variations, but I have the corn. I'm just waiting for it to cool off a little bit. Look how beautiful that salad looks. Are you kidding me? It's too spicy for him. So I have some chickpeas, some turkey, cheese stick. He'll eat some corn. This chicken needs to go in and he's gonna have some rice. Morning. It's not morning. It's well, well, well into the afternoon. 
but I'm getting ready to go for a walk because I had to edit. I just had a lot to do, but I want to make a hot girl walk but bin words. So down here is where I keep my stuff. And right now I have, this guy's ugly, ugly sunglasses. I have everything just kind of everywhere. Okay, so let's organize this for a sec. Mm, my thought process. This is, this is like mostly Arlo's stuff. I have to have extra stuff for the pantry because your girl has too much stuff. Anyway, okay. So my thought was to steal this basket from my son's room. And whoa, what lazy plant. That is just too small for her. She'll stay. Okay. My thought was to put all of my stuff like in here. So I've got my ball of bangle bag, my sunscreen lip balm. These are the headphones since I have two now that I keep for my walks because I like that they don't keep anything quiet. My other ones you can put it quiet, but you know what I mean. And then we'll wear our bangles. Then I'll have a spot to put everything when I'm done. Like, so I have my bangles, my bola, bangles. I need a hat. I need, oop, my other hat. I keep two hats down here. My bum bag and my sunglasses. So that'll be my little hat or walk basket. So we just went to Aw Shucks um, and I ordered a whole thing of a whole pot of crab legs some soup and then Arlo ordered grilled fish but he did not like the fish so he ate some of my crab legs. Huh? Were they good? Yeah! They were really good. So, I even dipped them in poop. It's just the Arlo Maxwell. No, in a butter actually. So who has the best fish then? Not aw shucks. Who's got the best fish? TJ's has the best fish. BJ's that he went with Granny. So there's that. So it was a flop. And now I got the s'mores for um for dessert with Granny. So now what are we gonna go do? I don't know. Oh, okay. Should we just go home? Yeah. Okay. We need some fresh ice. Alright, we're back. Yeah. We couldn't get Jenny's, huh? Do you want to stand up here and show everybody what we got? Yeah. Okay, see there. So why couldn't we go to Jenny's ice cream? Uh, because everyone started to take all our spots. No parking, huh? Yeah. So what are these? Uh, sour gummies. Oh, you want to try one? Yeah. Okay. Right now. Can you oh. keep some for Dad? Yeah, we'll keep some for Dad. What flavor do you want to try? One, two, three. The blue ones are my favorite. Wait, wanna try? Yum, huh? Okay. What is this? Cake. Mm -hmm, mommy's favorite. What's this? Ice cream cones. Mm -hmm, sugar waffle cones. Chocolate mini cones. Chocolate mini cones. This is chocolate ice cream. Yep. It's freezing. Arlo's favorite, which is. What's your favorite ice cream? Mint chocolate chip. And what else? What do you got here? It's sprinkles. Yep. We what... got for our rice. And you picked out that one too, right? Which is birthday cake. So which flavor do you want in your cone? Uh, I'm going to put these away. Really this quick. one. Do you want the birthday cake one? Yeah, with sprinkles on. Okay, you want it. I think there's already sprinkles in there. I Not think. enough though? You need more? I think. Right, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. I just need to put the ice cream away before it melts. 
This one's already freezing. Make it melt okay. because. Here we go. Those oh, really cones. Oh, they are cones, really. Well, really that's cool. a lot of cones we got. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Alright, let's put some ice cream in there. Careful, careful. Let me see if I have an ice cream scooper. I don't know if I do. I have one. You do? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but that's pretend. We can't use that one. Yeah. Here, I'll just use a spoon. Oh, yeah, that's I, I have an ice cream scooper, but I guess I lost it. I guess it got all our yucky and moldy. It's possible. There's, Do that's you not enough. Do see if you like it? Yeah. What's your thoughts? God! <laughs> I'll put some in my coat. Mm -hmm. Let's get it all the way in there, huh? Yeah. Push all it the down way. in there. Yeah, so we can fill the top up Ooh. like this. Yeah. Yeah. Smunch that up in. Smunch it up? Yeah. Guess it's gonna be pretty yummy! Mm -hmm. You can eat this cone. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Alright. So, like that one. You want some sprinkles on top? Yeah. Not enough. That one might be for You want to put it on? Oh, these are cool. There's like hearts and stars and flowers. That mm -hmm. one like that one. Yeah. Wow. I tried one of those and they were so yummy. There you go. What do you think of that? Good. All, All right. Done. A plus. Yum. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good ice cream. I really don't think I've ever tried Trader Joe's like in the carton. It's pretty good. Better than Jenny's. Not really, but I bought two pints this big from Jenny's for $30. <laughs> Is that dad? No. Oh. All right. Want to go sit? Oh, okay. oh, we can take other ice cream after there. Uh -huh.